Hello, it's me, Norm, again from MyBeerQuest.com. And we have today my friend Jim. I don't know if you remember Jim. Hi, Jim, guys. Jim has joined us here, uh, I don't know, a couple, quite a few times. I think uh, the first time you actually ever joined us was on the 4th of July. Um, it was it was a about couple, two, 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 years? two years ago. Two years yeah. ago. And it is 4th of July again. So uh, I decided, since it's 4th of July, uh, we're celebrating our independence, our freedom from... Uh, England, and uh, you know, uh, one of the uh, people that signed the uh, Declaration of Independence on July Fourth, seventeen seventy-six, was uh, Samuel Adams. So, got a new uh, Samuel Adams beer here. Um, although he signed it, Sam Adams. So, uh, uh, this is Samuel Adams, but uh, I believe he did sign it, Sam Adams, and uh, his, uh, you know. His cousins of John Adams, you know, one of the, uh, the second president of the United States. So, uh, I think all that uh, Sam Adams is known for pretty much is the beer. Uh, other than, <laughs> also the Sons of Liberty, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> but, but, uh, yeah. but the beer is good enough. Works <laughs> yeah, for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, this is supposedly uh, their IPA, which I I believe well. I got, I got their, like, kind of a summer pack. It said there was IPA in there, and this is the only thing I could find. It didn't say it's IPA. It's, it's called a 48 de- Latitude. A latitude 48. I, um, do you yeah, know if anybody, uh, I, I don't have a clue. If anybody has a clue out there what, what Latitude 48 may stand for, uh, give us a shout out. It's prob- yeah, it's probably a, I don't know, Longitude 48 is about where the California border is, I think. Uh, so. Maybe. Uh, well, longitude goes across, latitude goes... It might be where Boston is. Who knows? <laughs> well, we're, we're 40-something right here in California where we are. Uh, why don't uh, we uh, open up the beer here? Yeah, okay. Decided to uh, use pint glasses today. Uh, it's because it supposedly is an IPA made with... Oh, it does say brewed with uh, German, English, and American hops. So that's that should be interesting having a, that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, one of Jim's favorite haunts right now is a place called the Winchester Room. So I gave him the Winchester Tavern uh, pint glass that I have. <laughs> of course, that Winchester Tavern pint glass is yes. from. Um, do you know where that's from? Winchester Tavern. No, I don't. Well, where is Are you a fan of uh, zombie movies? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't watch a lot of zombie movies. Shaun of the Dead was that. Uh, That's right. You're right. The Winters of China. You're right. And Shaun of the Dead. You read the other side, but uh, <laughs> oh, I didn't read the other side of the glass. Yeah. Dying for a pint, Shaun of the Dead. There we go. There we go. Well, um, well I'm dying for a pint right now. So, <laughs> well, here's to uh, here's to our, our freedom uh, and independence. Our freedom. Our right to drink beer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, our freedom uh, that we celebrate on Fourth July. Yes. And their uh, liberty and uh, independence. Huh? And uh, beer. And beer. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, I, you know, the California IPAs, of course, are uh, are very. Uh, I'm not even sure if this is an IPA. Like I said, uh, popped up. It's got a very woody flavor. Yeah, kind of. Um, yeah, I, I, I guess Woody would, uh, I would almost say earthy. Or, yeah, yeah, earthy, very, uh, yeah, earthy, yeah. Yeah. Kind of nutty, too. I was trying to find out what hops they were using here, but... Uh, Northern Very this, interesting. It's, uh, it's good beer. Yeah, it's a very good balance to it. You know, it's it's not quite as in your face as you know some of the uh, California beers, but uh, yeah, um, yeah, very good. Uh, you know, kind of overall beer. Uh, it's like almost like an everyday. Uh, it would be like an everyday drinker almost. It's got right? some. Tastes like it has some potency to it. Mm-hmm. Which you know we should have done some more, a little bit more. Uh, uh, research, but you know, I really don't like to do research because it actually um, 
sometimes it over it, it, it either it might color you to the way you're yeah, thinking about it ex here. exactly yeah and I so I and that's the reason why I don't uh, uh, research the beers as well as I should I <laughs> so I wish I, I I'll probably uh, post the APV once I find it but uh, you know if it says it on the uh, okay it's it says five point eight percent. You know, and that's and that's about it. as much research as I do is read the bottle, because I, I don't want to find other opinions, especially if I'm not familiar with the beer. Because yeah, like yeah. you said, I yeah. did, I, if I get over, uh, if I expect something too much, and then yeah, I get underwhelmed by it, or uh, or vice versa. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. But uh, yeah. yeah, this is a good. It's a good balance. So yeah, so it's a good holiday beer. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be drinking some beer here, celebrating yes, our, we uh, are. our uh, independence and uh, our Bill of Rights all together. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, and then, yeah, don't worry, we won't be blowing anything up. So, but everybody's celebrating out there. I hope you were uh, celebrating. Uh, safe and sane. Yeah, safe. Uh, because you probably won't see this until after the 4th, because I probably won't get posted until <laughs> tonight. But, uh, but uh, cheers. So if you've already <laughs> blown up your backyard, we apologize. Yeah. Enjoy. <laughs> enjoy your holiday. Enjoy your... Um, cheers. Yeah, your uh, beer. <laughs> cheers. <laughs>